Hello, and welcome to the video on using messages with the MATLAB system block. In R2021A, the MATLAB system block was updated to be compatible with message input and output. This is useful because you now have the capability to process and manipulate message payload when you send and receive messages. Messages are at the center of this new functionality and are currently utilized in the Simulink and SimEvents products. Messages are useful modeling artifacts that combine events with related data. They are used to model communication between Simulink components for the purpose of system integration. You can use messages to establish communication in a composition model whose components perform a defined set of functionalities with input and output boundaries. The following example, Process Message Payload Using MATLAB System Block, is currently available in R2021A Simulink documentation. This example demonstrates the basic functionality of the message input and output for the system block. In this example, a MATLAB system block is configured as a message sender. The block receives signal data and outputs messages that contain signal data as payload. Next, there is a queue block that sorts and stores messages until an event occurs and passes them on. Lastly, another MATLAB system block is configured as a message receiver. The block receives messages and processes the message payload and outputs the process data. The MATLAB code for the message sender consists of two main parts. One is defining the message payload. In this case, the message payload is defined as the values from a simple sine wave. The other part is the get interface impul API, which defines the system block's input data type as signal and output data type as message. The receiver stores and visualizes the message payload and outputs the average number of messages received using the get interface impul API. This next example shows an application of messages with the system block. In this example, there are two MATLAB system blocks that send messages. Channel 1 outputs a sine wave at a 0.1 second time step. Channel 2 outputs a sawtooth at a 0.2 second time step. Next, these messages go to a message buffer and then these two channels are merged. A SimEvents entity server block is used to model the delay in the transmission. Here, you can use the receiver block to designate which channel's message payload you want to visualize as the simulation runs. In this case, we have selected channel 1 and are visualizing the sine wave. Looking at the scope, you see that as the simulation runs, the average number of messages received from channel 1 is 10 and from channel 2 is about 5. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, please refer to the MathWorks documentation or contact us.